Greetings, YouTube. The doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons & Dragons. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. All right, it is time for another installment of the Doctor Spell Prognosis. And today we are talking about the first level spell, Fairy Fire. I'm giving this a B+. Um, a couple, there, I mean, there's one main reason that I'm not giving it uh, an A- minus or above and that reason is for friendly fire we always have to kind of um, highlight friendly fire and also because it is a concentration spell um, all right so friendly fi uh, fairy fire is usable by bards druids artificers light domain clerics twilight domain clerics and the archfey warlocks um, another reason why i'm not giving this an a minus or above is because there's a few classes that are missing from this that can use this but we're going to talk about um, how you can get around to getting this spell from those other classes. So it's a first level spell, takes one action, has a range of 60 feet, which is great range, has an area of 20 foot cube, great area of effect. It's only a verbal component, great. Um, it does last for one minute, so 10 rounds. It can It is use, very useful in combat. Um, it is a concentration spell, so that's kind of a hit against it, because if you cast this spell, then you're not going to be casting any other concentration spells. Now, one of the pluses of this is it is the School of Evocation. We're going to talk about why that's a plus. It's a deck save, which out of the physical attributes is the one that you want, but it is not. that's not the best saving throw in the world. So each object in a 20-foot range with 20-foot cube within range is outlined in the blue, green, or violet light you choose. Um, any creature in the area when the spell is cast is also outlined in light if it fails its dexterity saving throw. So that's kind of the... That's kind of a junky thing about this because if, they, if they're invisible and they make their saving throw, then this isn't going to work. So for the duration, objects and affected creatures shed dim light in a 10-foot radius. Any attack roll against an affected creature, that's a creature that failed its deck save or object has advantage if the attacker can see it. And the affected creature, that is if it failed its deck save, if the affected creature object can't benefit and the affected creature cannot benefit from being invisible so invisible creatures become visible and then they cannot become invisible later on so that's a big one and i've seen this spell cast quite a bit in combat um it is kind of a panic button spell uh that has some extra benefits that come along with it and those extra benefits are the advantage um for attackers so the reason I say this is a panic button spell is because if the party does not have a way of seeing invisible creatures, invisibility can be something that is very hard to deal with in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. And this is one of those things that um, a bard druid artificer or one of these other classes can pull out of their pocket to, um, to use. Now, it does not differentiate between allies or enemies, so it is a friendly fire uh, spell as well. So it's got concentration, so you're not casting another concentration spell. It can possibly affect your um, your allies, which means that the enemies will have advantage to um, to hit them as well. And you may just be stuck using this because of this to find something that's invisible, unfortunately. Um, now, it negates invisibility. That's a big one. And the last one is this. It is School of Evocation, so I want to talk a little bit about that. Now, wizards in the School of Evocation get this Sculpt spell. So beginning at second level, you create pockets of relative safety within the effects of your evocation spells. When you cast an evocation spell that affects other creatures that you can see, you choose a number of them equal to one plus the spell's level. The chosen target automatically succeeds on the saving throw against the spell, and they take no damage if they would normally take half damage. So, so because this is evocation, if you can figure out a way to get this as an evocation wizard... You can cast this, and a, all, a, a number of people equal to one plus the spells level, so you can two. So two people, which is usually what could be inside the, the area of effect of this spell, two of your allies or two of whatever you can choose to automatically save, which means they're not affected by it, which means they don't get the little nimbus of light, and attackers do not have advantage to attack them. So that's great. Now, how do you get this um, be not being a, you know, because it's not usable by wizard. So how would you get this as a wizard? <clears throat> you can take Magical Initiate, and you can get Bard. Um, so it's usable by Bards and Druids. And with Magical Initiate, you get a first-level spell from those, those spell lists. So you could take this. Um, 
Uh, but it depends on the class that you took. So your spellcasting ability for these spells depends on the class you chose. So if you choose a bard or a cleric, then that's charisma or wisdom. And that might not be the greatest thing in the world. Now, however, there's an alternate way to do this in that you could take Artificer or Initiate. So you learn, you can cast this feat's first level spell without a spell slot. So you learn one spell of your choice from that list. Intelligence is your spellcasting ability. So wizards and artificers shall share intelligence as their spellcasting ability. So you can take Fairy Fire as an artificer right there. There it is. And then if you're a wizard and you're Artificer Initiate, you get this. It, it um, is based off of your intelligence. So those saves for this are all based off of your intelligence. And it, you can use it basically once every long rest as a panic button just in case. And it doesn't take up a spell slot either. So, so you automatically get it. So there you go. All right, that's what I got for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.